we interrupt your regular program to bring you a special news bulletin live from NASA. This is Claudette Cooper coming to you live from NASA with a special news event. Three astronauts went on a mission to search the Kuiper Belt for new planets. Let's go to Dr. Harald von Horndorf to tell us what the Kuiper Belt is. This is Dr. Harald von Horndorf. Welcome to the University Lab. The Kuiper Belt is a ring of icy objects just outside of Neptune's orbit. Planet Pluto spends most of its time in the belt. This is where short-term comets come from. These are comets that orbit the sun in less than 200 years like Halley's Comet. We have a live transmission from the spaceship Hawkwing. We're speaking with Colonel Clara Clifford. Colonel, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. What are their names? One is called the 2040W, another one is called Quayaro, and the last one is called Sedna. Can we see the planet? Yes, but they're mistaken planets. It'll take a while to get there. Let's go, Captain! Engine's ready! Here we come! Vector side! Take us in closer. We are approaching the planet now. We should see the planet any time now. There's the planet Quayaro. So how big is Quayaro? Quayaro is 1,300 miles wide. This is Quayaro's orbit. Quayaro's orbit is round. Sometimes it is closer to the, to the sun than Pluto. I want to talk with Carrie Comet. Okay. We are with Captain Carrie Comet. Captain, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Captain, how big is 2004 DW? We don't know yet. We have a transmission coming in from our radio telescope of 2004DW. The planet will be entering the screen right next to our arrow. Wow, that's amazing. Now to send that. We are now on approach. The planet Sedna. How big is Sedna? Sedna is 1,050 miles wide. Sedna is a red color. Sedna might be part of the Oort cloud. Sedna has a large elliptical orbit. It takes 10,500 years to circle the sun. Okay, we are with Dr. Hermann von Horndorf. She will tell us how far a mile is, where their names come from, and what the Oort cloud is. Hello, me again with important facts. I will tell you how far a mile is and what the Oort cloud is. To go a mile, you must run around this track four times. Or run to end zone to end zone 17 and a half times. The Oort cloud is a shell of icy comets that extends halfway to the nearest star. Now I will tell you where their names came from. Sedna is named after the Inuit goddess of the sea from whom all sea creatures were created. Kreoro is named after the creation god of the Shangba people. The name 2004 DW is actually a code based on when it was discovered. The first number represents the year of discovery. The first letter represents the month. Since D is the fourth letter in the alphabet, it represents the fourth month. The last letter represents the day. Since W is the 23rd letter, it represents the 23rd day of the month. So 2004 DW was discovered on April 23rd, 2004. This is how the objects compare to the Earth and the Moon. See how much smaller they are than the Earth, the Moon, and Pluto? So why are they called mistaken planets? Are they even planets at all? Astronomers still disagree. For now, they are not planets. 
anything in the Kuiper belt is a Kuiper belt object. So these three objects are Kuiper belt objects. There are many objects in the Kuiper belt. Just recently an object has been discovered and it seems to be bigger than Pluto. Congratulations to our astronauts for a job well done. This is Claudette Cooper returning you back to your regular program. Shaking and I said, ooh-wee It looks like a purple people leader to me It was a one-eyed, one-horned, fine purple people leader One-eyed, one-horned, fine purple people leader One-eyed, one-horned, fine purple people leader Sure looks strange to me One-eyed Well, he came down to earth and he lit in the tree I said, Mr. Purple People Leader